right, our first guy coming on right now. Welcome to the stage, Dwayne Sissabo! stuff so listen up any of you guys out there that think you're gonna get married and have unlimited sex don't marry your sweetheart marry a goat if you marry a goat you'll have unlimited sex your front lawn will get mowed for free and you guys you'll never ever have to take out the garbage now, I don't have many friends. I, I'm not sure why. I, I'm a nice guy. Could be because most of them are dead. Two, two of them were just killed trying to rob a bank with water pistols. Things were going great until one of them got thirsty. <laughs> My relatives are, uh, are dying off, too. I had one of them call me and ask if I could donate some money to help, help bury his wife. Now, I'm a, I'm a frugal guy. So I told him how I buried my wife. I had the dog dig a hole. And I rolled her in. And the dog and I covered her up. Now, before you get the wrong idea, I love my wife. But I love saving $12,280.13. That's going to buy a lot of coon juice, friend. When my wife was alive, she was very concerned about this country. And I'm very concerned about the country. I'm particularly concerned about the education system. I had the grandkids over uh, last weekend, and I asked one of them, uh, the 10-year-old, if he knew who the first president of the United States was. And he said, yes, it was George Washington Carver. He was an inventor, and he grew marijuana in the Rose Garden. And I said, yeah. Don't you get it? it was George Washington? He was the guy that when he was a kid he cut down a cherry tree with his little hatchet and then he couldn't lie about it? And he said, no, Grandpa, that was Bill Clinton. He did it in the Oval Office. He used a big cigar as a dildo. What are they teaching these kids? Do you, do, do you know that I was 40 years old? Before I knew what a dildo was, I, I always thought I always thought that it was a brand of pickles. It sounds like a pickle, dildo. I remember going in a grocery store and asking the clerk, "What aisle are your dildos in?" And she gave me this look, death look, and she stomped out. So I went home that evening and I, I asked my wife, honey, what's a dildo? And she explained it to me. And I tell you, I, I haven't been able to eat a pickle ever since. Thank you very much.